champion worshipping the old god. Hey guys, so remember that scene with Maester Eamon and John when Maester Eamon was saying about how much he wanted to like ride down south even in his old age because he found out what happened to Rhaegar's children. Well, let's say we sort of make that happen. Uh, we can't. We can't actually control Maester Aemon Targaryen in CK3 Game of Thrones because he's a member of the Night's Watch. I don't know how to take the Night's Watch role off of him. So, how about let's say uh, Maester Aemon, you know, just in his old age, found someone, found a a lass to have sex with. You know, you know he, you know he he stuck his 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 wrinkly wiener in a poor a poor wench's. You know what I mean. So here we go. We're gonna join, join the house of the dragon, and we will be Maester Aemon's son. I mean daughter. My bad. <laughs> yes, make my character look like look like House Targaryen. Yep. All right. So my past videos, controlling Littlefinger or my own original dynasty, you know, I, I would get ahead, rise up the ranks with, you know, marriages. And I, in the case of Littlefinger, I, I used a bunch of abduct schemes to win wars. So I don't know what's the play here. Maybe I should... Hmm. Maybe I should make alliances and then declare wars. I mean, that's a possibility. That's a good possibility. And of course, we need a husband for Rhaenyra. We're gonna use some debug here to get a... To get a Valyrian husband. You want to keep the bloodline pure, you see? Yeah, there we go. Oh, we got a maester. Let's do this again. Let's find a spouse for Rhaenyra. There we go. Orain waters Valarion. Oh, he's good looking and intelligent. So yeah, let's go with that matrilineal marriage. He's a bastard, so at least that was like a negative five. I'm escorted into Lord Paramount Eddard's throne where he beckons for me to approach and address him. I elucidate the abilities proven and otherwise and make me a suitable candidate to be a Lord Paramount's Chancellor. Requesting the position as his advisor, I certainly can't do any worse than Lady Barbary of the Barrowlands. After listening to the speech, he smiles warmly at me and states, Absolutely, vassal. I shall dispatch my agent to take care of this matter. Hell yeah. We are... We are the Chancellor for Eddard Stark. Surprise, he trust the Targaryen that much, but he's an honorable man. Yeah, I'm 18 while Orain's 6, so... Don't worry. Someday... We'll get older and we'll be able to... To produce some heirs, some lovely heirs. So my neighbors seem like they don't like me. During a walk through my domain, I come upon some frozen ponds. When temperature is warmer, these are usually a great spot to go fishing. But it seems that even the colder climate has not deterred some small folk from trying their luck with ice fishing. Looks like they've punctured some holes to reach the water beneath the thick ice. I walk closer and take a look at their catches and equipment. They quickly noticed me and immediately struck up a conversation about how well stocked the ponds are and how good the fishing is. One man even tells me he is here with his young son who has never been fishing before. Can I join you folks? Yeah, let me be kind to the small folk. Let, let them like me. Okay, we're just gonna earn some money here. I'm gonna wait and earn some money. Oh, what's this? While traveling after a heavy snow, the ground suddenly gives way beneath my horses. Moments later, I find myself in a deep crevice that the snow had hidden. With the cold of night approaching, I know I will not survive until help arrives. Oh, shit! 
Oh shit, the game's gonna kill me off already? No way. No way. Okay, we gotta try to climb up. My attempt to find a way out of the cave has failed, so I'm back where I started. Perhaps I could try another. Damn, I'm wounded! Okay. Let's find another way out. <gasps> no! 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 I died! What the hell? What the? <laughs> okay, attempt number two. At least we got autosave. <laughs> that was an Iron Man. I would have cried. I mean, it was still pretty early on, but... I did not want to have to go through that again. It's another long night in my study. The sun has set and the moon has climbed high into the sky. I hardly need my candle with moon shining so bright. As I'm spending hours reviewing reports, reading accounts, and stamping documents, I come across a recent report signed by both my steward and marshal. The report notes that shearers across my dem demens, demesne, dem <laughs> domain I found a growing number of dying or injured woolers. Animals that produce wool, as noted by my steward in the reports, goats, sheep, and even woodle dogs have been viciously attacked in the night by what many claim to be large ravenous wolf packs. Should these attacks continue in these current numbers, the wool trade could face serious drawbacks. Coming up with a solution to this problem seems suddenly prudent. It would be nice to present a resolution to my council tomorrow morning. Okay, post a bounty for these wolves. My gardening staff has recently been working on the god's wood in my keep. They've mulched the flower beds, planted new flowers, trimmed the hedges, and have generally improved the god's wood, making it reminiscent of a small grove. But the gardening staff have come to me with a request to spruce up the weirwood heart tree that stands proud over the entire god's wood. The gardeners tell me that they'll only beautify it, pruning the branches and roots, but I'm wary of any potential damages to it. After all, what kind of northerner lets his tree fall into the ruin? Alright. Let only the most experienced gardeners handle it. Okay. Oop. Looks like I got called to war by um, Lord Valarion here. Fighting against Lord Stannis. Oh, damn. Oh, he's trying to declare like a... He's trying to have a liberty war against Stannis. Okay. Um, hmm. I will join this, but I don't know if we'll be much help. All right. That's really far away, too. Anyway, we don't even have, like, the proper units for it. I mean, let's just have a bunch of crossbowmen, I guess. And there we go. I mean, I'm not good in combat, so let's just let this guy handle it. We only got 543... Well, probably about 700, 800... Anyway, I don't know if that will help, but let's try to link up with Lord Valarian here. Alright, this guy is hitting on me. I'll abandon the foolish endeavor. I want my bloodline pure Valerian. Alright. We've linked up with Lord Valarian and we're sieging this place. I don't know how much, how good we'll be. I've noticed various inconsistencies and omissions in the tax records of Molskir. Molskir? <laughs> it is clear these errors cannot be simple mistakes. Someone has been embezzling funds. Unfortunately, the trail of this mysterious culprit is erratic enough that it's difficult for me to determine exactly which tax collector is rep responsible. Alright, let's investigate this matter. Hey, we found the culprit. Let's go. Okay, let's help Lord Valarian here. There we go. Oh, damn. Oh, the Valarians are winning. Hey, we won the Liberty War and Stannis is now bald after that. All right. <laughs> okay. You gain a favor hook on Lord Stannis. Oh, what? 
not married yet here. No daughter. No Shireen. Wow, we won our first war. Helping the Velaryons in their liberty war. Mom, my way through my courtroom when a scuffle at its far end draws my attention. A strapping man is being advanced upon by my guards, only for their weapons to clatter to the floor in a blink of an eye. The stranger flourishes his sword in salute me. My lady, he begins, as I wave away from more guards. I find myself without a leech to serve, and judging from your protection here, you could do with my help. From the red robes he mantles himself, I deduce he is a follower of the Lord of Light. Okay. I don't mind if he worships the Lord of Light. There we go. Who knows, maybe we'll convert to the Lord of Light. My car arrives at my court in a panic. The young lad starts ranting about a slumbering dragon within my domain. Ayo? Ayo? Did the mods already add dragons? No way. What? What? No, no, that's not possible. An accusation which sends the throne roof up in laughter. The young lad is not amused. He begs you to act, claiming we are all doomed if the beast should wake. I mean, I'm a Targaryen. Tell me more about this dragon. My car continues his tale. Seems the young lad was gathering wood when he came across a stream that was bubbling up hot water. The lad assumed that only a dragon sleeping underground could cause the water to come out so hot. I reassured the young man everything is fine, there is no dragon, but to be safe I'll visit the stream the next day. I travel to the hot spring and enjoy a relaxing dip in the warm water. Aw oh, man, he thought, he thought there was a dragon. Aww. Oh, the soundtrack of this game is so good. Of this mod. Began an occasional treat. An unusual habit, but I'm a good High Valyrian. And what High Valyrian hasn't eaten some dodgy herring in her time? Over over the last few weeks, through Morna's predilection for utterly rotten fish has gone from to tolerable idiosyncrasy to a pungent omnipresence. This morning, when I discovered what she'd done to the latrine, I decided I had enough. Found her in the hall, face soaked in potent brine, half a fish eye lazily dripping down her chin. Yeah, we need to talk, bro. You, you, you need to talk, girl. You, you shitting? Your shit smells horrible. Man, Ned needs to... To, like, restore these ruins. I don't know why he's not doing anything. Today is chilly, but otherwise a nice day. I've taken a few hours to myself to walk around some of the smaller settlements near my keep, taking in nature and simply enjoying the nice day. As I'm walking, I come upon a frozen pond and see some small folk wondrously skating around on the ice. Their movements are all over the place. Many fall into the ice, but some are gliding beautifully. Ah, what a pretty sight. You know, let's join them. Yeah. You know, since we're allied with the Velaryons, maybe they can help us. Like, win a war. Yeah, I think... Okay, that conversion is taking so long. We'll wait for that to finish, then... We'll, we'll try to fabricate a claim on this place. Okay, defensive measures. Okay, looks like these two are fighting. Uh, let's find a compromise. Yeah, all right. Okay, now we can get married. Let's go. Let's go. And since he's beautiful and quick, we can uh, we can can possibly have very smart and very beautiful children. Alright, I'm still pretty fertile, so is he, so we shouldn't worry about not having kids, I believe. We don't need to debug to get some kids. Let's just let it happen. The snow has fallen constantly since the hour of the wolf. As I see my steward enter my throne room, I know the discussion will detail the effects of the blizzard on my hold. We could offer shelter and food to those caught in this weather, but doing so will disrupt the work going on in the hold. No, I won't let the people suffer. did nothing I mean we don't lose money if we do nothing now let's help the people let's be kind 
The summer snows have finally melted from the gods would though like any true northerner, the snow-covered forest flora has not stopped me from praying to my gods. Still, with the snows gone, the gods wood is alive with many of the plants once covered by the snow thriving. While admiring the new growth in the gods wood, I notice a rather colorful mushroom growing by the weirwood roots. Well, that's an interesting find. The mushroom is a very rare type, known quite well to those with interests such as mine. When the mushroom is ingested, it causes the individual to see all manners of hallucinations. When someone is in such a state, well, let's just say it's very hard to defend oneself. Oh, the things I can make with you. A child is growing in my womb. My husband, Lord Arain, will be proud. Let's go! We're finally gonna have our child. That's awesome. And our daughter is born. We got a daughter, you guys. All right. Uh, so I decided to name her Aria. You know, because Mr. Eamon's name starts with E. So we wanted to, like, pay tribute to our father. Speaking of our father, how is he? Oh, he died. No, he died of old age. No. Don't worry, father. We'll get the revenge that you want. Winter has come early. My liege, my liege. The sour-faced farmer standing before me says, These summer snowstorms have decimated my crops. There is no chance I'll ever recover, especially with the harvest soon. I know not what I will do if I cannot provide for my family this season. Especially with winter coming soon, there must be something you can do. You can do you? The farmer is bold to demand of me relief for his farm, but these summer snowstorms have been damaging to farms across the country. You know what? Let's help the poor guy. Yeah. Ooh, there's a traveling bard. All right. Sing the valor of House Targaryen. Megar's performance went over swimmingly, and not a single member of my household left unimpressed. Beyond the specific ballad I requested, Megar played many more gorgeous tunes, much to everyone's delight. Oh, and the dynasty's gone. <laughs> a wildling raid raiding party that my men and I have been tracking has taken up refuge in an abandoned watchtower. The tower itself is barely standing. The walls held together more so by ages of vine climbing the stone rather than the original mortar. Still, the wildlings managed to fortify the entrances and place a few archers on the upper levels. I was confident we could take it, but not without spilling some of our own blood. You know what? For the north! We wait until the sun creates a disadvantage for their archers, then we charge the tower. My men use their shields to block arrows as the makeshift barricade is dismantled. The wildlings meet us on the other side, ready for a fight. The tight quarters make for brutal fighting, and the tower's remaining stone floors soon become slick with blood. Okay, so we 67%. The wildling we fight dies, 32% we die. I think, you know, I think this is worth it. You know, what kind of leader would we be? If we back down from a few wildlings, how can we avenge the Targaryen dynasty? Rhaegar's sons. If we don't fight this. Let's do this! We won! Blue, Blair, Blue Bear of Baum died. Oh, yeah! Yeah, for someone with 9 prowess and several, 7 martial skills, that's amazing. I write to inform you of a most appalling discovery about, I made about Mistress Wyla. This woman is engaging in unsavory and dishonorable activities behind your back. Okay, I won't forget your gesture, Gren. Okay. Is Mistress Wyla in our... Oh, she's our steward. Alright. Let's blackmail her. Ooh. Let's try and haggle. Oh, it's an edge wizard. But he's also High Valyrian. I think we can trust him. Though he's a lunatic. Wait, let's see what he has to say. The hedge wizard emptied a bag of various animal bones onto the floor and began thawing himself. After a while, he stood up and declared the White Harbor would be 
in desperate need of furs soon. North? Needing furs? I suppose I could send some. I received news that the shipment of furs I sent to White Harbor has sold for an exorbitant price. Apparently, a storehouse containing thousands of pelts went up in flames just prior to my own arrival at port. Can't believe he was right. Oh, we got money! Alright. Okay, let's, uh... Okay, let's get a trade port up and running here. Yeah, let's upgrade the quarries. There we go. There we go. Our territory is going to be awesome. We just got to play tallish for a while. According to both myth and maesters on the island of Skagos, there lay a unique and puzzling beast now extinct from the mainland. It's a shaggy and powerful beast that has replaced the horse in this part of the world. On its head is a single long horn that is highly valued by traders across the known world. The, Skazo the Skagosi ride this beast into battle whenever conflict calls, and together, Skagosi and beast feast on the flesh of their slain foes. This beast is none other than the unicorn. Whoa, a ferocious beast capable of holding its own against the likes of even dire wolves. The unicorn is no beast to tempt, and this is why Skagosi have domesticated them. Ah, interesting. Okay, I would like to visit someday. I don't know what that does. Okay. How's our allies, the Valarians? The end of my Spymaster Master Gren's latest report. He pauses for a moment. There's something you should know, Captain. Mora has many secrets, it seems. Okay. She's a non-believer. Okay. His primary heir is Eamon Velaryon. Alright, we don't gotta worry about... Okay. How about... Yeah. Let's continue our alliance with the Velaryons. Area and... And Monford. Let's not marry the heir. We don't need... We don't need Driftmark. Who is this guy? No, no, no. No, 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 no. Got a terracotta toy pal. Okay. Let's see. Can we fabricate a claim now? Ooh, we're still converting. It's gonna take forever. Oh, a traveling maester. Truly eliminating conversation. Oh, I left a good impression. Usually when I get that, the maester thinks I'm stupid. So... That's good. Okay, we got more. Alright. Got more stewardship, and that would probably increase our popularity. See, it's already happened. Yeah, let's just focus on our territory first. Developing our territory. Both the blacksmith and merchant's guilds and the lordship of Molskir have sent a representative to meet with me. The two guilds have come to an impasse over the trade of raw iron. Then the county and Wami to arbitrate their dispute. Secretly, each representative has offered me a lucrative deal with their guild in an attempt to get me to side with them. Oh, I get both guilds to work together. Yeah, all right. It's probably good for us, right? Yeah, I'm Prager's again. Let's go. Oh, looks like we got a son. Does he become the new heir? Oh, it's still area. Okay. I thought like having a son would make him heir, but huh? Is it because I'm high Valyrian culture? Is that why? Anyway, let's go. We'll name him after our father, Aemon. Oh, a new hunting dog. Let's go. I'll name her Yubi. Lines about legacy. Okay, I can see this is truly heartfelt. Lady Barbary. Let's see. Let's learn the common tongue. Oh, we don't got money. Alright, never mind. Let's see, courtiers. 
Um, what else can we do? Lordship. Oh, Lord Hagen. Oh, Lord Rehishik. You got to be able to... Okay, the, the converting fate is almost done. Uh, my hook and stand is expired. Is there anything we can petition? Uh, let's... Yeah, sponsor. Priest. Thank you, Lord Edard. There's a lot of car Starks next to the Starks here. But here, Lord Glover, and of course, we got the Foresters and the White Hills from the Telltale games. That's pretty cool. Okay, my dog will join me. Such a good girl. All right, the raised voice. Says, reach me yet again. I quench my instinct to turn on my heel. The constant bickering of my vassals, Lord Oriel and Lord Grant, is enough to drive any woman mad. Something must be done. I could either treat the situation as an exercise in meditation or eavesdrop and approach one of them with my sympathies afterwards. Try to make them see sense. Uh, Grin is such a kumquat. Kumquat. Uh, what? All right. Mediation successful. We're really good at mediating conflict, by the way. Gets the ice fishing thing again. Yeah, let's join them, folks. Okay, we're almost done with converting faith. Then after that, preparations for war will begin. Oh no, my marshal is dying. Oh, Lady Barbary. The contemptuous hag Barbary makes my blood boil. How could the old god see fit to curse? the earth with Barbie's cold-hearted cowardliness. No, it is obvious. She's the other's kin. She's worse than both putrid boil and ravenous locust. I cannot stand the mere thought of breathing the same contemptuous air as her. I must do something. I must act. My sanity depends on it. Damn. I mean, she is a craven, so. Wow, I, I, I really do have a rivalry with Lady Barbary. I mean, at the start, you know, I replaced her as a counselor. Or chancellor to uh lord ned oh got another child incoming also we already finished the uh, conversion men of the night's watch take the sacred vow to live and die at their post a deserter must find justice at the hand of the lord who captured him bring in the scoundrel the deserter, a man named Willis, is brought before me. He whimpers about the things he saw north of the wall, unspeakable horrors in the frozen waste. He shall receive the king's justice. All right. A man who passes the sentence must swing the sword. That guy's probably dead. But he warned us of something. Like, could, could the others be coming? The whites? The white walkers? Who knows? Okay, we got a daughter here. Jehera. Danera. Alaris. Viscera. Viscera Targaryen. Not like that. Yeah. Oh, this is it. This is it. This is Rompersk. My dumbass didn't even know that this was Rompersk. All right. We got a claim. And we were able to adjust our vassal contract with Ned. And we were able to get... We were able to be able to declare wars without needing Ned's approval, so let's go for it. Alright. Large levy is just in time. Let's call on our ally, Lord Velaryon. Let's see if we can add some. Oh, we're out of money! Let's just hold out. Let's hold out until Lord Velaryon comes. Where are you, dude? We're outnumbered! He is. We just gotta hold out. There he is! Come on, me lord! Yeah! The Valarians are helping us. Let's go. And I'm Preggers again. Alright. Oh, we need a new maester. Okay. I would never deceive you, area. My kids are turning out good. Speaking of, 
I'm educating my son and daughter, right? Yeah, okay. Let's have our husband educate. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Let's go. Mmm. Oh, you want more? Beat his ass. Let's head for Driftmark. I mean, Driftmark. Not, 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 what is this place? This, 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 this discount Driftmark. Direwolf cloaks. Direwolf cloaks for sale. The merchant yells. I turn around and see the merchant has three large furry cloaks strung up behind him. Catches my gaze and invites me to inspect the cloaks. Okay, let's inspect the cloaks. Hold down a large white cloak. Feeling the clo coat in my hand, I can tell the craftsmanship is remarkable. Even the stitch work is masterclass. I close my eyes and smell the cloak. It smells like snow and pine. I open up. I open my eyes, remove my coat, and thrust it into my the merchant's arms while I try on the direwolf cloak. The coat is refreshingly warm. I can tell there's a distinct difference from my wolf fur coat. The merchant clears his throat, mumbling something about time to pay up or return the cloak. Yeah, I have to buy this. I got no money though. Hmm. Let's go for it. The baby and the Lord Arrayan looks up in his face surprisingly serene. Why, Frash, we should name her Jane after your perceptive acquaintance. We have an acquaintance named Jane? Uh, okay, sure. Let's name her Jane Targaryen. Yeah, we got the fur coat! We got the fur coat! <laughs> Uh, okay, let's strike up a deal. Oh, no. Oh, we won it. We won. Hell yeah. Oh, we got a marble scepter. scepter. Oh, okay. Okay, call off your... Call off your units. Okay. Okay, let's convert the faith here. Uh, control. All right. Okay, let's manage the domain. Husband's been pretty awesome, but let's romance our husband. Fifty percent. Okay, let's secretly plant a letter in his chambers. My declaration of love is for Lord Orain's eyes only. No one else matters. I pour my heart out. Page after page, my feelings growing as I finally put them into words. The ink is barely dried as I set out for Orain's chambers. I gently place the scroll, scroll on his bolster. Will he lay here tonight, dreaming of me? The waiting is unbearable. The thought of rejection makes me sick to my stomach. When his reply arrives, I tear the seal with shaking hands. Well, I cannot encourage you, Lady Rhaenyra. I'm most grateful for your kind words. Yours faithfully, Orain. All right. Yeah, we got province of Bungla. And we got Driftwood Hall. Oh, yeah. Lord Orain, let me prove my devotion to you in any way you deem fit. Orain ponders the rest for a while before his face lights up. I've been plagued by nightmares lately. If you're truly devoted to me, you'll stand guard outside my chambers and make sure no evil reaches me. Okay. You want me to be sleep deprived? All right. Okay, this one has better. This one has a better chance, so let's do it. The lure of sleep claims you. Oh no! How do we lose that? Galessa brought my son Eamon to the market today. Eamon was to hand out alms to the poor and needy to learn about charity and ruler's plight for the less fortunate. He refused to give a single coin to anyone, Galessa claims. Everyone we met were either undeserving or beneath him. In the end, he kept the gold. No, you must pick care for the poor, my son. There we go. Be a generous boy. Uh, let's get our maester as our chancellor. I'm attending a dance in Driftwood Hall to spend some time with Lord Orion. The mere thought of touching hands makes my heart jump. But when I arrive, 
find him stuck in a conversation with my steward, Mistress Wyla. The evil woman drones on and on, totally oblivious to Orain's discomfort. Little distraction seems appropriate. There we go. Oh, we got a well-organized court. This happened despite your spouse's poor stewardship skill. Hell yeah. What in the world was my daughter Aria doing in the wardrobe in the servants' quarters, playing hide and seek? She looks like a ghost, shaking eyes wide open, stare at the walls. Oh no, I know what happened. She must have seen the two launderers uh, him plucking a rooster together. The poor girl looks shocked. I'll not be surprised. She will find intimacy difficult when she grows up. Oh, I don't want her to be lustful, so... Yeah, better chase than lustful. I hope it will not come to this, but I am left with no other option. I must rescind your appointment as Chancellor of the North. Effective immediately. Why? Every time I close my eyes, I see Lord Orain's face. Sleep will not come. I cannot wait another moment. Cloaked in shadows, I make my way to the garden outside his living quarters. The sight of Orain's chamber's window makes my heart stutter. So close and yet so far. But what? Who is that climbing up the tower? The shady figure stops by Orain's window and unlatches the shutter. My pet? I call him my pet. Oh my god. My pet is in danger. I must save him. Sound from the struggle above is the greatest motivator. I had ever na 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 bloody dagger. That's the same thing that happened in my little finger playthrough. So yeah, I'll never let you get into harm's way again. Yeah. It's my soulmate now. Notice various inconsistencies. Okay, let's... investigate the matter directly discover the culprit bring him to justice latest work of my arrival lady barbary has become all the rage at court of late the piece is derogatory inflammatory and dedicated specifically to me and my unique blend of incompetence and incontinence come grounding copulously this spring some women simply make all the others queasy their features awkward their breathing wheezy when such a woman is seen to exist it makes one want to hurl a fist so, so far i've kept my Thoughts to myself, but the buzz has grown too dramatic to ignore for longer. Another wildly encounter! On the jaunt through the wounds, I spot a disheveled man nearby and soon discover he's a wildling. Die, you savage! Oh, shit! That's not a disheveled man, that's a woman! For a brief moment, Egret and I pace in lazy half-circles, each watching for an opening. I have my sword ready to defend myself while she clutches her spear firmly. To hand. Only one of us is walking away from here today, and I intend it to be me. With a sudden twitch, our bout begins. Boldness and prayers come, screams my opponent, swinging her spear fiercely at around and near me. Maybe if I wait, she'll trip on her spear. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm not good at combat. Fire and blood. Come, fire and blood. Oh, we did it! Oh my god, I can't believe we did it with 10 prowess. Pretty average and bad martial. Oh my god. Roaring my defiance, I throw myself wholeheartedly into a bevy of powerful cleaves, raining blow after blow on my opponent. Enthusiasm can compensate for many things, and here it manages to totally supersede skill, tearing the sword from Egret's grasp with raw power alone. I waste no time in stepping towards my disarmed opponent, already shielding herself with her hands. And with ruthless efficiency, unseam her groin to neck. The screams stop long before the tide of gore does. Goodbye, Egret. My daughter Aria seems to enjoy our latest feast immensely. She got along quite well with everyone she spoke to, even the adult guests. Never hurts to make friends. Okay, now she's gregarious. That's awesome. Apparently, Wolfgar spit in my son Eamon's food during a dinner a few nights ago. Seems as if Eamon is trying to t tire Wolfgar out by not reacting to his bullying. No matter how many times Wolfgar calls him, Bora slaps him across the cheek. Don't be so meek. Take revenge! Is anyone educating Jane? About. Yeah, how about our husband? Also. Yeah, we don't need to. Convert him. He doesn't need. Child is growing in my womb. My husband, Lord Orain, will be proud. Yeah, another child. Five Targaryen kids about to be. 
Okay. Visit your child friend. So my belly grows, so does my unease. This is not the first time I'm with child, but this ominous sensation is new. Something is amiss. The cramps come in night, and as, as I arise in the morning, I find my sheets bloody and ruined. I am pregnant no more. No! No, our fifth child. Oh, not the fish thing. Alright, let's try and convince our husband. Why? Why would you be insulted? I'm on my way to God's Wood one morning when I run into Lord Orion, who's carrying a small black bag. Glancing around, he conspiratorially opens it, revealing all sorts of food and drink. Such a beautiful day. Come join me outside for a morning picnic, he says. As I start to, pr to protesting that I'm on my way to God's Wood, Orion interrupts me. The old gods will still be there later, but... These intermits won't. Yeah, let's have a lovely picnic with our husband. My lady half Sarah, Sarah as she marches up to me, hauling my daughter Jane by her ear. This dratted child has been lying in wait around corners wearing wolf skin for a costume, only to jump out of screaming and scaring the living daylights out of people. That's hilarious. Yeah, Sarah already doesn't like me, so there we go. Oh, Matos. Hello, Maester Matos. Tim, a free tenant renting some of my land in Rom Persk has pulled in an, an exceptional harvest this season due to meticulous planning. He wishes to use some of his profits to purchase a piece of my estate from me so that he can build upon his success and grow mo more crops next week. Hmm. Okay. If you can pay me, go ahead. Truly illuminating conversation. My husband, Orain, approaches me as I am sitting by a window. You haven't been the same since what happened. He doesn't say it, but I know he's referring to when Lady Barbie Barrel lands and I became rivals. Perhaps you need someone to talk to. I could be that someone. He continues gently. Yeah, of course. Mathos has come to the... Clearly have left a good impression again. Yes! Lady Barbie is dead! Fucker, the twists and turns of fate have not always been to my advantage. The old gods know that I was cursed the day I met Lady Barbie. Today, however, that curse has been lifted. Fate has smiled upon me and brought that abhorrent wench to her grave. Die, Lady Barbie. Die. Oh, and I'm pregnant again. Oh my god, I'm being, I'm being rewarded for, for, I guess, uh, for some reason, the, the the tides of fate have gone in my direction. Sing of the Valor of Hans Targaryen. Hell yeah, splendid evening indeed. And Mailer dies. <laughs> okay, now you can marry to the Velaryon guy. Oh, oh, they're already married. All right, that's good. Okay, let's petition our liege. I want a council appointment. There we go. Oh, I... Oh, he fired Lord Umber, but made me the marshal. I'm not a good marshal, though. I got five marshal. Ooh, that's a bad decision, Ned. But all right. Not my problem. Valena Targaryen. All right. For every birth, the cordiality shown me grows as I hold my newborn baby in my arms. I'm greeted by more warmth and kindness than ever before. I guess I do have quite the impressive gathering of children. Yeah, I've mothered many children. Alright, who will educate? Oh, I can educate. I'm looking angry. I'm looking vengeful. Okay, we're just increasing control and converting the faith here. What in the world has happened to my son, Eamon? He is all bruised and beaten and refuses to name who did this to him. Was it an older child or did he pester a noble to the point of fury? Now, he has all but stopped talking and constantly hides away when there's people nearby. Poor boy. Okay. I think solitary is better than being either paranoid or a craven. But I think... I think this would be like in character because you know you know how like 
l like Robert, Ned, John, Aaron, and then ultimately Tywin ended up betraying the crown. So I think this is what I would say. Yeah, be paranoid, my son. Tavern's new owner. Riding along the King's Road, my men and I stopped at a small tavern. We occasionally visited on such trips as we entered. We are greeted by Tavern's new owner, an apparent brother of the former owner. He informs us that he had an, a tavern in the Riverlands, and his aging brother could no longer tolerate the cold of the north. So the two traded taverns. The new owner has done much to clean up the tavern. Dust could not be spotted anywhere, though I did not... Though I did notice some dried blood on the table, which he said he came from a butchering a sheep earlier, but he had unfortunately stained the table. Something is off here. My men confirmed my suspicions when they investigated the root cellar. The previous owner had been strung up like an aging slab of beef, and much like a slab of beef, cuts had been made from his flesh. But my man lost the contents of his stomach at the realization that this new owner had been serving guests food made from the previous. Alright. Uh, Arrest this murderer. He is High Valerian, though. Okay. Let's recruit him. Let's have him marry my daughter. Alright. You're part of the family now, cannibal. Who's this, Timothy? He's an honorable guy. The peasant leader. You know what? Join the Night's Watch. There you go. My territories be good. All right, let's see what would earn us more money. Okay, pastoral lands again. My son Eamon has been harboring a secret affection for Kara for some time. However, when he finally confessed feelings, Kara responded harshly. The rejection seemed to have made Eamon wary of any kind of attraction whatsoever. One should not dabble in the matters of lust at all, Amen. Republican? I don't know what that means, but right, here we go. War Prophet here. Let's see. Hunting grounds. About over here. Ooh, military camp. What over here? Okay, we don't have money. Nothing calms me quite as efficiently as a full glass of wine after a hard day, after a good day, after any day. I found solace in the bottom of the cup. I'm stronger than this. I don't want to be a drunkard. Okay, how's the mainland doing? Okay, great. John Umber is still there. Ned's still there. What the hell? Rob's... Rob is bald! Well, let's fix that. Wait, wait, wait. No, not pin. This is like Rob's hair in the show, right? Let's try to make it more show accurate. There we go. Then Jon Snow is there. Could also give him like the, the the accurate hair. I don't want it. There, keep it then. Damn. All right, Ned has died already, and now Rob has taken. Well. Taking the role of Warden of the North, Lord Paramount of the North. Servants usher me into Lord Paramount Rob's Great Hall in Winterfell where he sits in his throne waiting to hear my pledge. As I kneel at the feet of my lord and pledge the many oaths of homage as his scribes record the event, 
With that, the ceremony is complete. I have nothing to offer my Lord Paramount except my promise to faithfully serve as a vassal of Lord Paramount C. Rob bids me to arise and confirm his satisfaction along with my rights to the lands I rule in his stead. Hey, Lord Paramount Rob. And now I'm already 55 years old. And I haven't made much progress in 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 trying to secure the north and then getting revenge on the the iron throne uh, my only progress as rhaenyra is well getting married having a bunch of kids and getting the lordship i mean the province of bungla from from lord hagen but honestly that's a good start like i think i'm playing Tall-ish at the start, you know, just you know, improving, improving my stuff, improving my current territories, making sure I'm earning a lot, getting some big levies here. You know, we're start, we're starting slow, we're keeping it slow, because in my other playthroughs, I was going fast, I was abducting, scheming, or marrying my way to the to the Iron Throne. Here we're gonna take it slow. We're gonna make sure the Targaryens, you know, slowly but surely earn their way back to the throne. With a mighty burp, I push the rest of my plate away from me and sprawl my back and sprawl back in my chair. Lately my kitchens have begun to swell with golden grain and freshly hunted game, giving all my courtiers the healthy sheen of the overfed. I grimace Though this bounty is great, it cannot last forever. I must decide what to do with all this excess food. Okay. Yeah, let's make sure we're heavily stocked with food for the future. Salt and smoke it. My daughter is already 26 and married to a Valarion. A drunk Valarion, but still. We have a grandson, Arion. Oh! And our other daughter just gave birth to a son. Why does he look different? Oh, okay. That explains it. Uh, I don't think this is your son, Viserys. Hmm. I'm sorry. I don't think that's your son. We can't find out their secrets without using a debug. Huh. That is weird. Okay, we got Jane Targaryen here. Engaged to a 45 year old wandering dude. He's a cannibal, a murderer, and he's possessed. But, you know, he's high Valyrian, so that will keep our bloodline pure Valyrian. Some moments must be recorded forever. This that time I joined Lord Monfort of Dripmark's war against Lord Stannis of the Stormlands is one of them. I might not be a good writer, but with time and effort I could surely pen something myself. Assembling and illustrating a tome can quickly become costly endeavor, however. Yeah. yeah that was a good memory, our first war fighting with the Velaryons. I'm taking the day off to go ice fishing. Some nearby ponds have frozen over and I decided it would be a nice stress reliever to get out in the wind, in the wild by myself. As I throw my fishing line into the water, I hear creaking and the cracking. It immediately dawns on me. The ice beneath me is cracking. I leap from my seat and try to run back to solid ground, but I feel the frigid water at my feet and suddenly sploosh. I'm sinking to the bottom. Uh-oh. Okay, 75% chance I die. Yeah, swim. Swim as hard as I can. I got wounded, but I'm back. I'm alive. Of course I'm gonna pick the decision that doesn't kill me. Of course, what? Why do you have a uh, Stormland? What? Why are you a Stormlander? Okay, Viserys. They left their territories unchecked. The beating. Oh no, Valena! What has happened to my daughter Valena? Tell me you didn't do this, Jon Snow. What the hell? 
Stay alert, girl. Don't give them another opportunity. Let's go, Targaryens. You got this. Why would you resent? I'm a good steward, though. Look at my stewardship. It's 28. Oh, we won. They captured Howland. All right. The renowned inventor Valar has sought me out with a very odd petition. Carrying a pair of wings made out made from wood and silk. Long have humans lusted to soar through the heavens, he says, and I have made calculations. I will prove that we can. Allow me to jump from the tallest tower of your castle, my lady, and I shall serve you faithfully afterwards. Unfortunately, my daughter Belena has learned of this and is begging me to let her see the aged scholar take flight. Okay. Valar, if you die, though, GG. <laughs> <laughs> he dead. Oh no, I need a new hunting dog. Oh yeah. Cause uh cause my old dog Gibby ran away. I don't I would then I didn't record that part, but yeah, Gibby ran away. So here's our new dog patches. Who's this? Oh Alyssa the gardener. For five years the funds I set aside for the patronage of my gardener Alyssa have run out. Okay. Silver Bride, our high Valyrian ancestry is an important distinction to separate us from the common lords and the small folk of the realm. That with no suitable bride of the blood for my son, perhaps I should turn my eye across the narrow sea. What happened to your wife? Oh, she died. Did she die? Oh, she died giving birth. Okay. Send Benedict to Essos. Alright, this guy is writing a good thing about me. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, another corrupt facts matter what the culprit eludes me Samara's blood is pure that is all which matters what it's no word from Benedict until the day his entourage arrived back in most here to little fanbear all seemed in order as he was accompanied by a young woman with the beaten silver hair of old Valeria my elegant lady he begins seeming uncertain I'm afraid the trip was Fraught with complications and bargaining with the arrogant of old bloods proved difficult. Instead, I brought you a woman of pure Valyrian stock. The unladen with conceited nature of which rife which is rife in the cities of Essos. It takes you a little more than a cursory glance over the prospective spouse to see that he has picked up a peasant from the streets and tried to scuff off the dirt before presenting her to court. You know what? Sure. What is this, a fireside tale? Okay, what a fun old tale. There we go. It's time to declare war. Okay, call to war. Can we call Lord Stark to war? Nah. Here we go. Okay, we got a son, oh, a daughter, I mean granddaughter. Okay, Shaira Targaryen. Where are you, Velaryon? There they are. That's oh, they got they got allies as well. I plan war strategies. Let's start a war. Well played. Here we go. No, my son. Darren Hooten of House Hooten, my brave son. Amen. No. Okay, I guess I'll just pair you up with a with another fake Targaryen, I suppose. My brave son. But don't worry. We'll win this. 
House Velaryon has been steadfast allies. Just a dog. Okay. Some guy talking about a dragon. There are no dragons here. But. Hey. You want to get married to my daughter? Trying to keep the bloodline pure. Come on. Elena comes of age. Yeah, go marry Jon Snow. Jon Snow. Okay. The war. Uh! What the hell are you doing? What the hell are you doing? Yeah. Okay. Come on. You gotta take this. Okay. Come on. Yeah! Victory is ours. These guys just won't stop. Okay, we're gonna siege this. Okay, let's bring our dog. Good girl. Come on. We won! Yay! <laughs> yes! Oh my god. Province of the King House. This will be our new realm capital. Yeah, we got some quarries here. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Woo! Oh, area, what happened? Did he die in battle? Oh, we were slain by Halis. Okay, at least our Velaryon alliance is still... Still, uh... Oh, Avon Valaria. Oh. Okay. Yeah, thank you, area. There we go. Still my air, though. But we already have, like, uh, another air. So don't worry, we don't need another matrilineal marriage. Alright. Here we go. Oh, Samara is a good spy master. There you go. Oh yeah, we need uh, some control. There we go. We gotta get ready to fabricate a claim here. Yeah, let's increase the size of our army. There. There. There you go. Now, my claims. <coughs> there we go. Oh, how dare you? How dare you try and... Oh, we got Alaris Targaryen. I feel like we already have that in the family. Uh, Alessane Targaryen? Aelinor? Aelinor's unique. Yeah, let's go with Aelinor. Sonic dealings. Okay, strike a deal. Always strike a deal. Let's go for the capital! The capital! 
I did not even have to resort to threats of violence. But we're committing some violence here. Oh, okay, we won. Oh, looks like someone has risen up against King Baratheon of the Iron Throne, King Harris. He's blonde. Oh, oh yeah, okay. Cersei's his mom. Wonder if Oh, real father is Lord Jamie. <laughs> okay. Okay, so this incest baby is basically the Joffrey of of of, of, of this you know, you know what? Uh, let's see. I know Joffrey has a crown here, so let's give him that. Uh, let's see. Where is it? There we go. Okay, Lady Bethany of Duskendale. I'm joining the rebellion. Okay, the North, I think the North is independent of this. Yeah, they're not joining, but I will join. I will design an aqueduct. Take our time. Oh, we lost. Lost the war. The war just, I just joined. As punishment for your crime of treason, King Harris of the Iron Throne has decreed that you'll be stripped of half of your lands. You shall be executed. What? What the hell? Uh, I don't think I can win a war against him, so I must accept this judgment. Oh, I was ex executed. No. Fuck the Baratheons. 